What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm over here at Kroger fixing to stock my truck up for the week so I want to bring you through exactly what I buy through the week here in my truck. So let's get into it. When you pull up and get fuel, pull up to the next spot. You see these finally pulling forwards. Now I'm gonna try to sneak over there. They were gonna say it, but I'm gonna keep saying it because somebody listens. He went around another truck at a red light. And now he's on this dude's butt. Yeah, he does. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. He's gonna do it. That sound gun got some work to go. <laughs> he took it right there and did that. Oh, whatever. First item is gonna be some fermented cheese. I love fermented cheese. Then I got me some onions right here. These are some uh, diced yellow onions. I'll make this on my on my hamburger patties or if I do like a hot dog bowl or something, I'll have some onions. There's that. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, look at that. I like these uh, boneless ham steaks right here for breakfast. These are really good, so I'll give me a couple of these. I do a little of the carnivore diet. I've got an air fryer, so I try to do a carnivore slash keto. So there's my ham there. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find me a good steak. Let's see. It's a good ribeye right here. Yeah, I definitely do it with the ribeye. Then we're gonna try to find some hamburger meat. Here we go. Right, some of this ground beef right here. I'll make some hamburger patties out of that. Okay, these right here are awesome. These chicken breasts right here. These are really good for the air fryer. So I'll grab some of those right there. All right, so now I've got me several meals so far. Let's see what else we can get. I should have A1. I know I've got plenty of mushroom, but I'm gonna get another thing of A1 just to go ahead and throw in the... I love cooking fish too, but man, it just smells the truck up too bad. So I can't do that. Oh Lord, no. We got all right. We're gonna get some hot dogs here. Awesome. All right. I just like like regular Oscar Mayer winners. Get a couple packs of these. Now what I'll do is I'll cut these up, put them in a bowl, put them with my onion, and then I'll make some chili with no beans. I'll get two packs because my trainee likes to eat those too sometimes. So I'll go ahead and grab those. All right, I do like these Johnson pre-cooked, fully cooked sausage links. These are really good, so I'll get a pack of these for breakfast. I've already got some bacon in the truck already, so I won't buy any bacon because I just got some, so I don't need that. Definitely bacon. I love bacon, so you can't never have enough bacon. These little omelet makers are awesome. I've already got one of those inside the truck, so I don't need one. They're definitely awesome to have. All right, I need some shredded cheese. Oh yeah. I'm going to get me a case of waters. You know, since I'm spending money out there on the road to waters, get a case of these. They definitely got to have some eggs. So I get me a dozen eggs here. Always open and make sure that they're good. Yeah, yeah, those look good. All right, I'll get some of this lightly breaded okra right here. Great for the air fryer. I'll make those in my hamburger. Those are really good. Let's see what else we got in here. Right, some grass fed. Home style meatballs right here. Throw that in the air fryer real good. That'll work. All right, so I got waters, plenty of those. Now we need to get some 
some type of a Gatorade. Let's see what we can find. No sugar. I'm not going no sugar this week. Definitely don't want none of that. Alright, I do like these muscle milks here, here or Core Power. I like muscle milk too, but these right here got a lot of protein in it. They're good. Oh, great for a meal. I'll get a few different ones of these. They're great. I mean, you got 26 grams of protein. You know, you're in a pinch, you grab one of these, drink these, and they're really good for you. Now, I've got Celsius powder, so I don't actually have to have the cans. I buy them by the powder, so I already got plenty of those. I haven't found the Gatorades. It's not great for me, but I'm going to get some of these spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> I love them. Uh, buying our sausages. And now I need to find some hot dog sauce. I've already got plenty of tuna in the truck, so don't need that. I have grits in the truck, so I don't need none of that. And I've already got soup, so I'm good there. So I guess this will be good for now. Let's get me through for a few days anyway. So let's go add it up and see what it costs. Oh, Gatorades. Almost forgot. Gotta find the Gatorades. All right. There we go. Get some orange ones. Ooh, I'm gonna crush my eggs, man. Careful. And let's oh, and some blue ones. That should get me through for a minute. And that runs out. I always stop by store later on. Now right, let's go check out. So whenever I can, I make sure that I go to a, you know, I go to a truck stop somewhere and park if I have to walk to the grocery store or either get into a grocery store so it makes it a whole lot easier to get in but uh you have to be careful with Walmarts and stuff these days as they will definitely tow you uh but uh, I've learned some places that you can go to it and some Walmarts let you go in and out as long as you don't stay overnight but right now I'm at a Kroger but you'll learn different spots uh different routes that you can stock up on and I'm good for a few days when I start getting low now I'll, I'll stop and restock up again things are expensive I mean I'm not gonna lie it's expensive I mean what I just bought, I can definitely feel the difference in it. You used to you get a lot more for your dollar. That's a whole other video. Inflation's hard out here. Drivers, that's why we gotta work as hard as we can. Don't waste no money out here. Don't waste it on stupid things. You know, save it for your family. Because it's definitely, definitely expensive. It definitely is. And, uh, and these truck stops are even more expensive. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you should hit subscribe. By the way, if you're looking for a great company, call the number below. Rosedale Transport at 706-226-1003. They hire experienced drivers. They even hire new drivers. But if you're an experienced driver and you're looking for a company that's going to treat you with respect, definitely call that number at the bottom of the screen. Ask for Tina. Tell me, boy, Sean sent you. They'll get you hooked right up. Hey, they got a $4,500 sign-on bonus, and their insurance is out the world. I'm, I'm talking about their insurance plan is so good. I've got, you know, I've got, I'm a diabetic. It covers you. It covers all my medicines. I mean, it's just unreal, the plan they get. It's awesome. Make sure you call today and tell my sent you. Let's get trucking. Trucking off of Sean. Let's get it.